Welcome to the microscopic world of the cell, the basic unit of life. Let's explore the incredible structures that work together to keep cells alive and functioning. The Cell Membrane We begin with the cell membrane, a dynamic boundary that protects the cell. This flexible layer is made up of a double layer of phospholipids, embedded with proteins that regulate what enters and exits the cell. The nucleus is a large, spherical structure surrounded by a nuclear envelope dotted with pores. At the center of the cell lies the nucleus, the command center. Inside, the cell's DNA is stored, holding the instructions for every function and characteristic of the cell. The cytoplasm and cytoskeleton. Suspended within the cytoplasm is the cytoskeleton, a network of fibers that provides structure and facilitates movement. It's like the cell's scaffolding, ensuring it maintains its shape and allowing organelles to move within the cell. The movement of an organelle traveling along a microtubule, showcasing the dynamic nature of the cytoskeleton. The mitochondria, consists two membrane layers the inner folds known as Christi. The mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. These structures generate energy by converting nutrients into ATP, the fuel that powers all cellular activities. Inside the mitochondrion, the process of cellular respiration occurs producing molecules of ATP. Endoplasmic reticulum, a, uh, the endoplasmic reticulum, a, uh, with the rougher on one side, studded with ribosomes, and the smoother on the other, smooth and tubular. Here, we see the endoplasmic reticulum, or a, uh, the rougher, uh, covered with ribosomes, is where proteins are synthesized. Meanwhile, the smoother plays a role in lipid production and detoxification. Ribosomes a ribosome as it synthesizes a protein, showing the mRNA feeding through it and amino acids being added to the growing protein chain. The completed protein is released and begins folding into its final shape. Ribosomes are the protein factories of the cell. They read the genetic instructions carried by mRNA and assemble amino acids into proteins essential for cell function. Golgi apparatus The Golgi modifies proteins and lipids received from the earth, then sorts and packages them into vesicles. Next, we have the Golgi apparatus, the cell's post office. It processes, sorts, and packages proteins and lipids, preparing them for delivery to their final destinations within or outside the cell. Vesicles bud off from the Golgi and are transported to different parts of the cell. Lysosomes are called by different names such as suicidal bags of the cell, cells waste disposal system or demolition squads. Lysosomes are the cell's recycling centers, breaking down waste materials and cellular debris. Alongside them, peroxisomes detoxify harmful substances and break down fatty acids. Vacuoles of plant cells in plant cells, the central vacuole is a storage center, holding water, nutrients, and waste. It also helps maintain turgor pressure, keeping the plant upright. Chloroplasts consist of double membrane layer and stacked thylakoids filled with chlorophyll. Chloroplasts are the solar panels of plant cells, capturing sunlight to produce energy through photosynthesis. Here, light energy is converted into chemical energy stored in glucose. Thank you for joining on this journey through the cell. Stay curious, and keep exploring the wonders of biology. If you enjoyed this deep dive into cellular biology, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. Stay curious, and keep exploring the wonders of science.